Jane, and I'm going to talk to you about the flame and response. What is the flame and response? Who or what exhibits it? And who on earth is flaming? And why does he have a response named after him? The flame and response is only found in some animals, such as, but not limited to, deer, moose, horses, goats, bats, and the cat family. It is usually shown by males to assist in chemoreception through the vomeronasal organ, which is also called the Jacobson organ. So what does this actually mean? Well, the animal curls up his top lip, exposing the upper teeth, and closes his nostrils. Like this. Actually, not like that. Like this. Pheromones from the female, usually from urine, are then passed to the vomeronasal organ, which is part of the olfactory or smelling system. The vomeronasal organ is a group of chemoreceptors, and it is located just above the roof of the mouth at the base of the nasal septum. Chemicals get access to it via a small duct located just behind the upper, front upper teeth of the animal, in here. This helps males detect where the females are in heat and therefore sexually receptive. So when you see a male animal looking like he's drinking a female's pee, he's not really. He's just trying to see if he can mate with her. Thank goodness not all animals do this, because let's not forget that humans are animals too. However, it's not just used to detect when females are in heat, but it's also used by both males and females when they're exploring their environment and investigating new odors. For example, my horses do it if I'm wearing perfume and when I go to the barn and they smell it. They're trying to recognize a new smell, so they increase access to the vomeronasal organ through the flame and response. So why don't all animals do it? Well, not all animals have a functioning vomeronasal organ. For example, humans have a very reduced one, but it doesn't work, so we can stick our front lips up all we like and we won't be able to detect pheromones that way. And some animals that do have a vomeronasal organ, such as snakes and lizards, don't detect chemicals through smell, but through taste, so they taste their environment and they don't need to exhibit the flame and response. So lastly, who was flaming? Actually, flaming wasn't a person at all. The word comes from the German verb, klemmen, which is the verb describing the action of an animal to curl up the lip and expose the top teeth. Pretty easy to see why the response is called that, really. We just don't have one simple word for the action in the English language, so we borrowed the German one. That is the Flame and Response, and thank you for watching.